guys? It's your boy PD Gaming, bringing back another video. As you guys see, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3. Is it fun or is it not? Now, before this video does start, I'm going to apologize for not uploading as much as I wanted to, but let's get right into this video. Now, these are going to be my thoughts and opinions on Black Ops 3 so far into its game cycle because I know they got a couple more DLCs and they always add new content in there like the groups. So, the first thing I'm going to be talking about are supply drops. Now, supply drops are very hated in the community as we all know it it was started in advanced warfare and now it's in black ops 3 now the supply drop system is just terrible you know you try to get the guns you want there's such a low chance of getting that gun you have to spend so much money to get those guns like a thousand dollars some youtubers get but the thing is you don't even have to pay money you know there's some guy lucky out there that just probably got all the weapons just using regular crypto keys and grinding out the game but that is extremely lucky and a lot of people can't wait that long they're very impatient so they want to pay money to be able to get these weapons out of supply drops now with people buying black ops 3 and the season pass you at least think they would give these weapons for free to the season pass users because they paid extra money to get the game but the only thing they've added so far is just the weapon bribe and um, I guess the special, if you want to call that, it's not really anything to do with season pass. It's just for the other people who don't have the season pass. But that's it. That's all they've added. And now it's kind of a little too late. If they even do add anything, I wouldn't even care. I'd be like, well, guess what? The game's already halfway dead. Yeah, you got a couple DLCs left, all uh, Infinite Warfare. But the game is dead. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is Black Ops 3 with supply drops equals bad. Another thing that I didn't like about Black Ops 3 is the guns now i know the guns are all really good in the game but the guns keep changing and i can't get used to the guns like you could go to yeah it's a good thing to nerf and buff all these guns but i can't go back to like the vesper anymore because it's completely garbage remember that gun used to be awesome but it's gone now like there's just too many nerfs and buffs for the weapons i just can't get used to them I don't like any of them now, and the DLC weapons look fun to use, but of course I'm not going to get them. But all over, all overall, the guns are just, they're just bad. You know, everybody uses a Vant, Man of War. You know, there's always those guns everybody uses in Call of Duty. That, like, uh, from Black Ops 2, you had the MA, uh, AN-94, MSMC, all those guns. But in this game, I feel like it just continuously changes, which is good for the game. But I don't know if that's Call of Duty kind of. It's not really something Call of Duty has ever done with all these nerfs and patches. It's kind of insane how much they have every day. Now, Black Ops 3, right off the bat, Black Ops. Now, this game, in my opinion, has nothing to do with Black Ops. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and then Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is not even, like, it's not even near the sequel to black ops 2 like i don't even know how it even exists the black ops 3 campaign has nothing to do with black ops 2 it's i mean there might be a little quotes in there like something about like reginoff or something i forgot his name already i don't even know his name but like they had nova 6 in there or something like that and the campaign but honestly the it just has nothing to do you know you have the zombies I'm guessing that's why a lot of people just bought Black Ops 3 is just for the zombies alone. But overall, the game is nothing like Black Ops. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised that they just called it Advanced Warfare 2. Because it, it's just the exo jumps or the boost jumps, whatever the heck you want to call it. I call it exo jumps because I guess it really doesn't matter. You still jump in the air. What I'm trying to say is Black Ops has nothing to do with Black Ops 3. It, the series just doesn't come with it. I know this is probably going to be the last Black Ops, and honestly, that is not the best way to end the Black Ops series. I just said how they made it, the Black Ops 3. I just don't know how. I'd rather have a Ghost 2. That campaign was awesome. I mean, the campaign would be awesome on Ghost 2, because you know what's going to happen to whoever, like, <laughs> whatever, on the beach with the one guy that takes him away. I don't even know. Another thing that happens in Black Ops 3 is the lag. And the starting up the game, every time it doesn't start up, you know, you, like you're in the game and then it lags out with something with connection host. This has to be one of the laggiest Call of Duties to me. I don't know. Maybe it's different on the PS4 and maybe it's because it's Xbox One and they don't really support it or something like that because of um, the exclusive with uh, PlayStation. But it's just 
it doesn't work like some they just made a new entirely like weird glitch like you would be on if you're in a party together the other guy would be on the other team like i've never seen that in a call of duty and with all these patches like i would understand if yeah the glitch is gonna happen like you're gonna have that glitch but with all the patches they're coming out within this call of duty it's insane how they've not fixed this like how have you not fixed it you could easily fix the glitch like come on how can i be in a party and spawn on the other team or if i'm in a party and i can't join any lobby like what's going on here you gotta have better servers we're in 2016 black ops also black ops 3 zombies the first time i played shadows of evil it was insane how much stuff you have to do it's not made for casual players so yeah you might get the rituals done but after that you have to get the pack a punch and all this stuff it's all about how many videos can you look up on YouTube to figure out what else you're supposed to do. Yeah, the Easter egg, of course you have to look up videos pretty much. It's the Easter egg. But to do other stuff like the swords, what? How the heck did, how is a casual player going to find that? Or the bows on uh, Derizen Draka? How are people supposed to figure that out? That's not made for a casual zombies player. Luckily, I have the... <laughs> I was looking up a whole, I probably took like an hour just to look up all these videos on how to do all these tutorials and everything on the map. It's insane. I don't know how we've gone to this uh, with all the zombies of how it's, now it's more like advanced than zombies. It's not like the older maps. And of course, it's probably better for Call of Duty players because they want um, more into the game with zombies and all that stuff because they want it more complicated because... Everybody thinks it's boring if it's just a regular map, like the Giants regular map. Um, of course, I think that's a really fun map, but again, maybe it's not for other people. Maybe they think, oh, hey, it's just a boring map. There's not that much things to do in it. There's not like upgrades and stuff like that. But in my opinion, it's a really fun map, and I think everybody should play it. And it should be actually just a free map. That would be really cool if it was easily a free map. Another thing in Black Ops 3 is where are wager matches? Like, come on, dude. Where is the gun games? One in the chamber, sticks and stones at? That would be such a good system, too, because I could think of him using crypto keys like 10, 15, 30, like, or any other um, way they want to do it. But where are the wager matches? Come on. That was the best fun. You could have, like, double down crypto keys. That would be awesome. But no, they did not bring that back, which I'm disappointed and i don't think they're ever probably going to bring it back because i mean it's kind of a dead call of duty right now in my opinion i'm not a fan of black ops 3 black ops 3 was pretty much a let down to me the boost jumps i mean i can understand the boost jumps it's not that big of a deal i know in advanced um warfare of course you could jump like 20 feet up in the air but in this game it's not that much of a deal even though i still hate it i still want them boots on the ground Looks like we'll have to wait until like 2018 to get that. Maybe World War Three. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but overall, I mean, the boost jumps are pretty fine to me. I think I can take them. Alright okay, guys, so that's all I'm going to have to say about Black Ops 3. I kind of went on to a rant and I tried to edit stuff out that I did not say. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please leave a comment of what you think about Black Ops 3. I'm probably going to make another video saying, hey... Um, Black Ops, how about Black Ops 3 being a good Call of Duty, but I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace.